Hey guys, welcome back and hey to my newbies as well. Uh, so, I'm home from Avalon, had an amazing time. I don't know who's on my Instagram, but there's a video of me up the tour. Uh, it's like my second home, I go there every so often. So, I went and had a really, really good time. Uh, so, I'm back. What we're going to do today, back to normal. That means I'm back, back to normality, back to readings. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do, is there a future between you and your person? So we've picked two feminine decks for this. Uh, this is deck number one and this is deck number two. So think about you, think about your person. And this time we're going from the higher energies. We're going on a higher frequency this time. So any pull from your third eye or your crown chakra, try to keep your emotions out of it. And we're just going to channel with the spiritual energy of the higher chakras today. We're going to go upwards for the, the other chakras are beyond, up and beyond the crown. But we're, for you guys, just focus on these two where the pull is. If you're a bit unsettled between the two, maybe listen to both because there'll be a resonance uh, between both. As always, you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, uh, remember it for later. So let's go. Can you get me into deck number one's energy? It's nice and warm in England today. Nice and warm. The solstice. Yeah, born on the solstice, this little, little bird. So yeah, thank you for everyone that wished me happy birthday as well. Uh, okay, think about your person. Can we get into the collective energy of that? Can we get into the collective's energy, please, of that number one, their people, their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of that number one's people as well. Let's get into that future energy. So work on the most probable outcome between you all. If you want a private reading, just drop me an email. I'll put the details in the description. Okay, can you tell me please, what is, have them and the, let's word this right, is there a future between those people watching and their person? So it doesn't matter if you're in whatever kind of situations are going in, if you're third parties, if things are gone peak tongue, if you're not in contact, if you are in contact. Again, strongest energy between you all. That is how this little psychic works for collectives. Is there a future? Okay, we'll do that. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's what we'll do. We will do nine. So at this moment in time, a lot of you are feeling quite downbeat, quite downtrodden. Some of you are really struggling with your faith at the moment, thinking, oh God, you know, you've really thrown me under the bus here. Um, feeling like you've been a bit betrayed, feeling like they've stabbed you in the back, feeling like they've just kind of cut you off and you're not really sure what you're meant to be doing. Now, some of your people have started to make moves back towards you, but, um, but even with that, there is still this lower frequency kind of going on in your energies. You're working really, really hard to kind of take this energy away, to, to increase your vibration, to heighten your energy. You're working really hard at that, but some in the mornings mainly, and at night time, you get this really heavy energy being put on you. Please remember to keep your energy clear. I know I bang on about it, but if you are not clearing your energies, remember if you are more in a more divine relationship, lower frequencies, love to come and play havoc with your mind and your head and your heart. So please make sure that you're doing regular energy cleansing. Um, um, so there's that kind of feeling of that lower vibration and you guys are in conflict, a lot of you and your people are in conflict um, about the end, about how they feel, about what's going on, about what direction you're all meant to be taking. Um, on this card in Sacred Geometry, don't know who knows that much about Sacred Geometry, the lines are, straight lines are male, masculine energy curly lines of female so there is this balancing here of you guys feeling these kind of same emotions so they've got the female energy blasting down and please remember it's never sexually orientated or gender specific you know this by now um so these will be the masculine kind of energies that are coming through and the curly ones will be the fem female energies so there is this conflict of energies between the two of you 
but in between these, these circles and these lines, you have one, two, three, four, five, you have five stars. Stars are always kind of going about being on the right pathway. It always reminds me of baby Jesus and, you know, how they followed the star to get to where they want to be. So it looks like there's going to be a few little short-term goals in you reaching your long-term goal with this person. Um, so it's not a quick fix. It's not overnight, but there is quite a good potential for you guys to move this relationship forward. At the moment, you're going to have to have this period of grieving, a period of keeping your energy clear, a period of feeling quite heavily burdened, but keep pushing through it keep keeping your vibration high keep distracted try and keep out of that lower frequency and know that your person is echoing that energy onto one another with the two moons at the top you're both mirroring one another's energy uh, your person is if you are the female watching or if whatever you are whatever energy you are and um, your person is stepping more into female energy at the moment they're feeling a little bit more emotional a little bit more needy a little bit more um i haven't really got my head screwed on i don't know what i'm going to be doing i don't know what direction i'm meant to be going in and that is also kind of creating this conflict and balance of the energies with the masculine and the feminine so you guys are balancing each other out a little bit more at this moment in time, but you're both echoing this conflict here and this heavier frequency. So from that, what happens is if you are in third party situations, it looks like the karmic energies will be coming to a close as a majority of you. Um, a lot of the karmic contracts that have built up with the people that they are with. They're going to be spirit saying there's going to be a turnaround in the karmic contracts towards the end of the year. Um, but those of you that aren't, um, this is just kind of this clearing of the karmic energies. Energies are going to be cleared out. So all these negative balancing, I'm feeling a bit crap, is going to be outweighed with this clearing of karmic energies. So this is where you are stepping forward. Once this karmic energy starts to clear, your person is then going to make these quite hefty movements towards you and there is going to be a need for urgency so if nothing much is really happening at the moment and you're getting really really fed up um, they are going to take this time rebalance their energies out rescale what they want have a really big think about it and then they're going to make these quick movements towards you and there is going to be some kind of offer made now it might not be an offer that is going to be the best offer that you've ever had because it is a pentacle they're going to offer you a beautiful pentacle and it's going to be up to you whether you choose to take it or not now if you do choose to take it then this relationship can, prog can progress into a future if you decide that you don't really want the pentacle and you could do with a whole load of more than a pentacle then it's going to be down to you whether this is what you want but there is potential here for this to move forward it's just not yet so there is a good chance you guys will have a future but this karmic energy has got to be clear first whether that's a third party energy or whether that is just a karmic energy between the two of you might be worth having a go at doing past life regression I don't know who knows I don't really advertise it but I do past life readings so if you need any of the energy clearing just give me a shout other than that you can try and do it on your own and um, just be a bit wary because it can be quite traumatic because it's wounds that we think we've healed and we don't have anymore but we definitely do still have them so once this karmic energy is cleared there's quick movement in with a need for urgency and your person is going to make some kind of offering to you when that happens, you're going to be down to you to take the thought process of it all, work out what it is you want, and if this is what you want, then you'll be moving forward into your Nine of Cups and the Sun, your wishes coming true and happy outcomes. So it's highly likely that with this thought process, you guys have got a, a good potential of a future here. Um, Please pay attention to your own intuition. Please pay attention to your own guidance. Please listen to your gut rather than your head. So if your gut is saying to you, um, it's fine, relax, they're going to contact you and your head's going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're not going to hear, I'm not going to hear. Please listen to your gut instinct, please listen to your own intuition because this will serve you straight as long as you keep your energy clear. Keep your energies clear. Um, the thought process of it, thought process of it all, uh, from a higher dimensional point of view, it's clearing the karma. From a lower dimensional point view from a 3d view it's all about rebalancing and rescaling the energies again you guys are mirroring some of your people have been going through really difficult times i'm hearing and that doesn't just mean with regard to you that means with regard to family with regard to work with regard to siblings i know that's included in family but i just heard siblings really clearly um anything along those lines and your person has struggled quite a bit with the energy of what they've been going through and then thinking about you on top so if they've caught contact with you don't panic it's just they've got a lot going on um, I'm getting a song which goes who is this I hate you I love you I hate that I love you I want to I need to can't put anyone above you 
don't know who that's by, uh, I'll leave it to you, I'm sure you will find it on the internet. Um, so that is kind of energy that your person is in at the moment, feeling a little bit backwards forwards, feeling a little bit unstable, gathering their thoughts, gathering their thought processes, thought processes and feelings, sorry I translated that wrong. Translated, came through the ear a little bit muffled. Um, so this rebalancing of the en energies, you can see on this one as well that you guys are mirroring this energy. Both of you in the middle, wanting security and stability. You're both on the sun at the top, you're both on the happy outcomes, but your energy has got to get into this balancing scale from here to here. And once this starts happening, this is where the, the karma will rebalance. Pay attention to your intuition. Work out what it is that you guys want because that offering will come to you with quite urgent movement. Is there a timing on this? No, there isn't. I'm afraid, guys, there isn't a mutual timing on this. You're all at very different stages. Um, if you wanted to look at timings, you can just drop me an email. Um, but there is timing and there is an, uh, no timing, but there is an offering that is going to come towards you. Rebalancing the scales and from that you'll work out if this is what you want. You can gather your cups, you can leave the past behind you and you can walk towards your happy outcome. Again, listen to your own guidance, listen to your own intuition, keep your energies clear, have a go at past life aggression. If you need me for that, just give me a shout. And again, it comes with a big warning from me and my guides. Um, it can be quite traumatic. So if you do decide to do it, keep in that higher frequency, keep in that higher vibration. Um, and just kind of roll with it, have a cup of tea and a biscuit or something before you go and do it and just be calm. Uh, it can shake you a bit because obviously you have no recollection of it, but it's stuff that has happened in a past life. So going through that would help clear some karmic energies. Again, if you don't want to do it on your own, you can drop me an email, but it might be worth having a go for you. You'll know if you're ready to do it because you'll feel that pull towards it. Again, it's about trusting your own intuition. I just got another song before I shut up uh, for deck number one. I just got I Need You. I need you. you. We're getting some... some. Uh, who is that? Is that N-dubs? I need you, 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 I need you. I think that might be N-dubs. You'll have to go have a look at the words for that. So, I hate you, I love you, I hate that, I love you, and N-dubs. We've gone a little bit... Uh, a bit... Manchester. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Uh, we've gone a bit little Manchester in those songs, but go and have a listen. Um, yeah, and that's that number one. So really good potential. Uh, it's going to be kind of down to you guys at the end of the day, what you want. You will have more control over this than what you think. Um, and just keep moving forward. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep energy clear. Trust your instinct and let it naturally unfold. Let it happen. Right, if you want to book a private reading, debt number one, just drop me an email, go check the website out, mysticlovetarot.com. Yeah, that's debt number one. Okay, let me do debt number two, 12, 40. Okay, so as always, as you know, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. How it works is we're going to all your energies, we're going to all your people's energy. Think about your person. Um, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between everyone involved, which means all of you watching and all of your people. Okay, can you tell me, please, is there a future with them and their person? Oh, for, uh, thoughts, yeah, yeah, all right. My guy just told me our thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought process, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Fair audience, I tell you. It's even harder when I get it in different languages because I sit there and I'm like, I have to go through Google Translate thinking, what an if have you just told me? Okay, right. Can you tell me, please, is there a future between the people watching and their person? Is there a future? I've just had that in deck number one. It could re probably reflect on you guys as well. That was, I need you, 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 I need you. Uh, and I think that's by Undubs. Undubs. Na na na. Is there a future <laughs> between them and their person? Is there, I haven't used this deck for ages for you guys, like ages and ages. Oh, your cards are pretty positive. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, your cards are pretty positive as well. 
I love it when that happens. Let's see if we can get it a full house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Is there a future? Okay. So what I'm going to do with you lot is I'm going to work backwards, work from the end goal and work backwards to tell you what's going on. Get number one, I'll work forwards. Get number two, we're working backwards. Your cards are reconciliation, you've got your wishes coming true, you've got the sun, you've got the world, you've got the ten of cups and those you could not make up getting all of them in a row. The sun. Six of cups, reconciliation, things happening, moving forward, nine of cups, your wish is coming true. Ten of cups, love, beauty, happiness, movement, togetherness, the world, union. Sometimes it can be ends of cycles, beginning of new cycles, if that's going to be how you read the cards. Now let's just speak to spirit and see what they say. So spirit are saying that you can have everything you want here if you are patient. <laughs> They're saying that um, things are going to be moving forward in the right direction. Now, a lot of you are thinking that nothing really is happening at the moment and you're getting that element of frustration. Keep releasing it. Keep manifesting. Try to keep in a more... Po I was just saying this in deck number one, actually. Try to keep in a more positive frequency, but manifest the outcome that you want, not what you don't want. Again, take 17 seconds for a thought to manifest. So if you are holding a negative vibration and a negative thought for less than 17 seconds, it will go into manifestation. So... There is going to be movement, either from you or from your person, depending on your individual circumstances, which is going to be focusing towards the future. Now, for most of you, this isn't as far away as what you think it is. Some of you guys have had a long break of no contact and you're thinking, oh God, it's never, ever going to happen. Um, but that again, that is that negative frequency because you're throwing that out to the universe. You can kind of press pause on it yourself. If you focus on lack, you will gain more lack. So try to act as if your person is completely in your life. If you need a manifesting plan, give me a holler. They've got a really good success rate. Um, but if not, keep manifesting by your own, by yourself. The long term objective here is that your negative memories are going to start turning into positive ones and that is the same with your person and through those negative memories turning into positive ones you and your person are going to give this reconciliation a go and work towards the future. It isn't going to be easy for both of you because there is a lot of water under the bridge I'm hearing as a whole as your mutual energy. A lot of stuff has happened with you guys but it would be worth it. Now some of you are questioning whether this is actually what you want and um, please listen to your heart on that. The heart knows what the head doesn't spirit are saying so trust your own heart what your heart says and if your heart is a little bit confused that's okay because you don't need the answers just yet anyway but what you do need to know is that this is looking really really positive that you guys will be stepping into a future together and it's not as far away as what you think um there is a need for peace in this relationship there is this hurricane tornado situation where you guys are quite strong energies and it causes these big big eruptions and the passion between the two of you makes it kind of like an addiction energy that you you the highs are amazing and the lows are crap and when you're in the low you want the high and when you're in the high you like hold it hold it hold it and then something will happen and you hit that low and then you want your hit again, you want your high with your person. Um, and again, it's because the passion between the two of you, you're getting the moon coming through, so pay attention to your female intuition. There is a lot of cyclical energy in this. Some of you guys have been going round and round and round in a cycle for a long time. Um, if you break that cycle and break the wheel and stand in your power, this will move it forward. If you get into quite a sad, emotional, um, when your person and you are in contact, feel quite sad, quite low, um, it's just going to press pause on it a little bit. So you're just going to have to make sure that you are balancing your energies out a little bit better, just being fully aware of what your thought process is and how you are acting with your person. Um, remember, everything has actions and reactions. So any actions that your person makes or you make, say say you went to your person and they were having a really, really crappy day and they're in said man cave or in hermit mode. Uh, remember, never sexually orientated, gender specific, but man cave or hermit mode. They go into this mode and you try and speak to them. You're like, oh my God, you've left me alone. Your person will either ignore you or snap at you. Um, your person as a whole, they are box people. So they have a box for work, a box for you, a box for home, a box for life as a whole, box for pets, box for children, and they have all these separate boxes and your person as a whole can only be in one box at a time. So the boxes will never meet. 
So if, you, if your person is in work box and you are in your box and you try to communicate them and they're in man cave work box, man cave hermit work box, you're just going to get met with silence or distance. If your person withdraws from you, withdraw from them. Follow their lead, follow their energy. If they're positive with you, be positive with them. If they talk to you about emotions first, then you can talk about emotions as well. If they talk about how everything's crap, then be there to support them. But don't be pressurising them because the pressure is what is going to panic them. And they're going to feel that, you know, you want everything now. And that highlights these fears that are kind of going on within them. So you can have everything you want. It's just coming with to move it forward mirror their energies and um, your person has these boxes your person isn't very good at dealing with emotions they aren't very good at dealing with problems you guys have always quite reasonable with it you go right okay here comes a tower everything's hit and a lot of you will go oh my god it really really hurts and then you'll grieve it through and you'll come out the other side and be like right you know what I've come out of the storm. I don't even know if the storm's over but I feel that I've come out of the storm whereas your person will sit in the storm and sulk and try to process everything and come up with solutions to it rather than just kind of dealing with it you guys uh, if you're talking to people about your relationship and what is going on be careful for those people that are judgmental that do not understand your uh, relationship from a spiritual perspective because they will throw judgments on you which will then put you in fear so if they say oh your person hasn't spoke to you for six months or a year or you know a month two months whatever they're saying um it means they don't like you your person is not you your person is not your per. Uh, you, this person, sorry, is not you. This person is not your person. This is just a person that has a judgment on you. So for you, lot, like, destroy and create any judgments that you have. This person will put on you. Be destroy any judgments and create. Uh, destroy. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Destroy and uncreate any judgments that people throw on you. And for those of you with your person, if they are distance with you go distant with them. Another really good book for you, I really try hard not to swear on this channel, so I'm just going to beep it, um, is F-U-C-K Him. Nice girls always finish single. I can't remember who it's by. It's a really, really good book. A lot of you do know how to use the energies in your favour, but with your person you can get a little bit stagnant and a little bit stuck, and it's a really, really good book. Who is it by? Uh, who is it by? Who is it by? I can't remember. I'll write it in the description. Uh, but that would be a really good book for you guys as well because it kind of, with your person, this is where you can get a little bit stagnant because your energies are so strong for one another um, and it will teach you kind of how to move the situation in your favour. So have a good read of that book. Again, remember it's never sexually orientated, gender specific. So if you are a male, if you are, um, you know, different in between the energies, if you're male or you're female, with your Remember, it's always energy. So I work with energies rather than sexes and genders. So whatever energy you're coming through as, it would still be a good book for you. Movement will come to you from your person based on truth based on spiritual perspective, based on seeing things from different points of view. They can see the road ahead of them. They can see that they have got a long way to go, but they can also see that you are by their side. They have got, um, this idea of what they want they know that they want to be with you with the sun in the you've got the sun card and on the three of wands there's the sun as well so they can see this sun ahead of them they can that's the world oh no getting the wrong card you can see the sun is ahead of them but they're just not quite sure how to get there at the moment so they're a little bit stagnant but they will start making these moves ask you know get the universe to help you again manifest the outcome you want speak your own universal truth to the universe and bring it to you and then you don't have to do the work the universe will do it for you you just need to be aware that the only block here that could stop this is fears um what have we got coming through here spirit is saying uh, there's a song fly before you fall i teach you to fly before you fall away fly, be fly before you fall it's a woman singing it um that is spiritual support for you guys so go and have a listen to that song try and be strong it, it feels it is quite an emotional song i do know it i'm terrible today knowing who anything is by fly before you fall woman it might be Cynthia or someone um if i've got that completely wrong i do apologize um movement here the outcome of this is really really positive reconciliation wishes coming true things happening not as far away as what you feel it is 
just let, let your person kind of go through their hermit mode, their man cave, let them come to you when you are, they are ready. And for you guys, don't let judgments get into your energy. Keep building yourself forward, keep standing in your strength and let things naturally happen as well. Don't push it before it's ready, but manifest it so the universe takes control of it. You don't need to panic about it if you trust the universe to do it. And with that, the eyes gone dead itchy. And that is deck number two. Okay, so if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. You can find my website, that's just mysticlovetarot.com. Uh, I'm on Instagram, that's just mysticlovetarot. And everyone that wished me happy birthday, thank you very, very much. Can't believe I'm at the ripe old age of 33 now. And as my guide says to me, Jesus didn't start his life mission until he was 33. So now you're at the ripe age of master ascendance. You know, uh, my numerology for my birthday is, uh, is the number 33 as well. So it was um, a master teacher number, life, life pathway number. And now my age is 33. Fingers crossed we've got a good year. All right, guys. Uh, love you all lots. Take care. Be good. Be safe. Bye.